morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I will be presenting alone because purely by coincidence, my colleague Adam Mertel is presenting in a parallel session. Uh, so thank you for picking me, not him. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm from the Department for the Study of Religions uh, from the Masaryk University uh, in Brno. And I would like to present you the pre preliminary results of our research focusing on the quantitative evaluation of the spread of the Isaac cults in the west coast of Hellenistic Asia Minor. And this research is uh, conducted within uh, the Generative Historiography of Religion project at Masaryk University in Brno. And this project aims to explore spreading <laughs> dynamics of ancient religious tradition uh, traditions in ancient Mediterranean by using quantitative methods. So when I say Isaac cults, I mean uh, mainly the cults related to the deities of uh, goddess Isis and uh, god Serapis. Uh, these were uh, gods with very uh, universalistic powers. They were uh, of Hellenistic Egyptian origin and they started to spread outside Egypt uh, from the end of the 4th century BCE uh, during the uh, rule of the Ptolemaic dynasty in Egypt and uh, they became increasingly popular and uh, later became really widespread across the whole Mediterranean. Here you can see uh, the spatial dissemination of the archaeological evidence related to the Isaac cults and in this research we were interested man mainly in the early phase of the spread, which is uh, approximately the period between uh, the 3rd and 2nd century BCE during the early era of uh, the Ptolemaic rule in Egypt. And this uh, period uh, corresponds to the archaeological evidence of red color in this map. So you can see that at first these cults spread uh, to ports and uh, islands mainly in the Aegean Sea and when Rome gained the upper hand in uh, the Medi Mediterranean these cults spread in subsequent centuries uh, more inland and uh, became really uh, widespread across the whole Roman Empire. And in the academic discussion uh, there are uh, uh, the researchers propose that either uh, the maritime trade or uh, the <coughs> Ptolemaic political activities were the key factors standing behind uh, the success of uh, this early stage of the spread of these uh, cults. And there is historical evidence supporting both of these claims. Uh, for example, Hellenistic Egypt was one of the main exporters of grain uh, and uh, Egyptian merchants and sailors uh, often worshipped these cults or these deities. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the Ptolemaic uh, dynasty was very politically active abroad uh, and the Isaac cults were closely tied to the ruling uh, Ptolemaic dynasty. And the impact of these factors on the spread could have, or their interplay, could have uh, significantly varied in different regions of the ancient Mediterranean. And in this research we, we were uh, focused mainly on the west coast of Hellenistic Asia Minor because uh, there was a really interesting political dynamics there. Uh, the Ptolemaic dynasty, mainly during the 3rd century BCE, uh, occupied certain cities uh, of, uh, on the coast of the uh, Asia Minor and other cities were allies of Ptolemaic dynasty and uh, some of them served also as a garrisons or a naval bases for the Ptolemaic uh, soldiers. And from uh, the east uh, of Asia Minor there was this constant pressure from the Seleucid dynasty, the rival dynasty for the Ptolemies, uh, and they were trying to uh, lead campaigns uh, to, to the coast. So really uh, interesting political dynamics there and we wanted uh, to evaluate uh, if this political situation could have uh, had an impact on the, on the spread of these cults. And in the academic discussions, uh, in, in, in the academic discussion there are some strong voices with respect to politics and the spread of these cults. So Peter M. Fraser said that the cult appears in harbors 
and cities with considerable con commercial and international contacts, and not in cities under Ptol Ptolemaic suzerainty. The spread of the cult was not due to Ptolemaic propaganda or influence. On the other hand, François Dunan said that the presence of high-ranking uh, Ptolemaic officials uh, had to play a promoting role in the spread of these cults uh, in uh, the Asia Minor. And more recently, Lauren Bricolt uh, said uh, that the uh, imperialistic uh, hypothesis, which is the hypothesis originally formulated by Franz Cumont, and it says that the, uh, the Isaiah cults were directly promoted by the Ptolemies. Uh, uh, Lauren Bricolt says that this hypothesis is not supported by the data from uh, the Asia Minor, but again that uh, those political ties between Ptolemaic dynasty and Asia Minor uh, had to be a favorable condition uh, for the spread in the end. And we wanted to evaluate quantitatively uh, these arguments and uh, say something new uh, in the discussion. <coughs> so to be able to do that, uh, to be able to compare the possible impact of uh, political factors on the spread of the Isaiah cults in the west coast uh, of Hellenistic Asia Minor, we had to do three crucial methodological steps. First, we had to construct a model of the ancient transportation network as a platform for the quantitative analysis, because obviously uh, the cult was spread by people traveling uh, on ships or, or walking uh, on, on uh, land roads. Uh, so we had to uh, do this. Then we uh, had to identify and categorize Ptolemaic possession in the west coast uh, of Hellenistic Asia Minor as a political proxy. And finally, we uh, evaluated statistically the spatial relationships between the archaeological evidence related to these cults on one hand and Ptolemaic possession on, on the other hand uh, on the transportation network. And I, I will walk uh, you through this, uh, these steps in greater detail. So at first, we had to construct the transportation network along the coast of Asia Minor. And here, we used the data, the, the data set from the uh, uh, digital atlas of Roman and medieval civil civilizations. It is originally uh, uh, from the Barrington atlas. And for the maritime uh, network, we used the Stanford project Orbis. And we corrected those tra trajectories by consulting ancient navigational guides uh, collected by Pascal Arnott. And uh, when we had the layer of the transportation network, uh, we geocoded the archaeological uh, evidence from the 3rd and 2nd century BCE related to these cults. So those orange squares represent uh, Egyptian temples from the 3rd and 2nd centuries BCE, and those orange triangles are artifacts related to the Isaiah cults from the same period. After that, we geocoded the political proxy. Uh, those purple uh, pentagons represent uh, Ptolemaic positions. Uh, we identified them mainly uh, based on the uh, catalog of Roger Bagnall, uh, uh, its catalog called Ptolemaic possession, Possessions Outside Egypt. And those in darker color uh, had some military importance for the Ptolemies. They were, for example, garrisons or naval bases. And after uh, we collected all those data and put them on the transportation network, we finally could eva uh, evaluate uh, those, uh, if, if there are patterns among the data. And we intended to uh, find those patterns by uh, comparing distances from major Hellenistic settlements, uh, by comparing distance, distances from these settlements to, to the nearest uh, political proxy and the distance to the nearest religious proxy. Uh, but here the situation got a, a little uh, tricky for us because uh, measuring distances in kilometers was not suitable for this kind of research because uh, people traveled, for example, much faster on uh, the maritime network when compared to road network. So we used approximate speeds for uh, ancient uh, ships and for traveling uh, on foot, and we used also elevation coefficient, and then the distance was not measured uh, 
in kilometers, but in days it took to get from uh, the major Hellenistic settlements to the nearest political or religious proxy. So in the end, we uh, had uh, this uh, table where we uh, ha where in the first column you can see the list of uh, all major Hellenistic settlements. I think um, a list of uh, all major Hellenistic settlements from the uh, coast of the Asia Minor, and each of uh, the settlements uh, has uh, a set of unique attributes. Uh, each settlement has, a, has its distance to the nearest, uh, for example, temple from the 3rd century BCE, distance to the uh, nearest uh, Ptolemaic possession, and we also conducted various uh, network centrality measures in order to uh, identify a certain strategical advantage, advantages for each uh, of those settlements. And after that, we were able to uh, compare the data and see if there are any patterns in them. So the first statistically significant result was uh, expected and logical. This basically means that uh, places uh, uh, the, or the Hellenistic settlements that were more distant on the network from the source of, of the spread of the uh, of these Isaiah cults uh, uh, from the uh, Egyptian Alexandria that these places, if they were uh, more distant, then they were also distant. Uh, from the uh, religious proxy from the temples from the 3rd century BCE. And it is very logical uh, because uh, you expect with respect to logistics uh, that uh, places um, that were nearer on the transportation network to the epicenter of the spread that there will be more uh, temples there. However, a very uh, interesting result and uh, statistically very significant and the correlation is, is uh, really strong here is between uh, the distances of uh, Hellenistic settlements uh, to Ptolemaic possessions and distances to, to the temples uh, from the 3rd century BCE. And we used uh, here the temples from the 3rd century BCE because the Ptolemies were uh, active on, on the west coast of Asia Minor, mainly during the 3rd century BCE. And uh, this scatter plot basically means uh, that if a Hellenistic settlement uh, was a Ptolemaic possession, or had a Ptolemaic possession in its proximity. Uh, it also had a Ptolemy uh, Egyptian temple uh, in its proximity too. Uh, however, just to show you, not everything was correlated in our analysis, and these are only preliminary results, so we will explore it more in the future. But for example, uh, uh, there wasn't a correlation between distance to, to, the, to, to the Egyptian temples and a uh, number of uh, visits uh, on the network. Uh, the, the visits means that we, uh, through a Python script, we released uh, traveling units from ancient Alexandria to each port on uh, to each settlement on our network, and each settlement counted how many times it was visited by a traveling unit uh, traveling elsewhere on the network. Uh, just uh, uh, this number could uh, indicate uh, some strategical, uh, strategically advantageous position on the network. Thank you. Uh, but here it, it can be interpreted that there, there was no central hub on the network, but there were many, uh, let's, for example, ports uh, on the coast of Asia Minor, which uh, played a similar, similar role with respect to, uh, to strategic position. And there were also interesting side observations uh, in this research. For example, both the political and religious proxy, uh, proxies were located within a 30 kilometers wide belt from the coast, uh, with only uh, one and a half uh, exceptions, let's say, or two exceptions. Uh, and this could indicate very or signpost very interesting dynamics with respect to logistics. Perhaps it was uh, more difficult to supply soldiers uh, that were far uh, from the coastline. And I said in the beginning that there was this constant pressure from the Seleucid dynasty from the east, and uh, the strong red line represents the Seleucid royal road, which was used for Seleucid armies when they were campaigning uh, to the west in 3rd and 2nd centuries BCE. And it is interesting that 
again, both uh, the religious and political proxies do not cross the territory represented uh, by the Seleucid royal road. So really, again, interesting uh, political dynamic there and the preliminary results show that uh, probably uh, the political dynamics were a crucial uh, factor in the spread of these cults on the coast of uh, uh, Asia Minor. And that would be all from me. Thank you very much for your attention.